This AR-15 rifle is going to be fitted with a scope, but the standard front sight base is going to be right in the line of sight. Hi, I'm Jim Humphrey with Eminent Threat Defense Firearms Training, and today I'm going to remove this factory front sight base and replace it with a low profile gas block. To remove this front sight base, I'm going to have to remove these two taper pins. Also, the crush washer, the flash hider, and the gas tube pin. Before I start, I'll of course unload the rifle and remove all ammo from the work area. These sight base pins are tapered and they're tough to remove. So I need to identify the small end of the pin. On most AR-15s, these pins drive out from left to right. But on this rifle, it's a bit unusual, they drive out from right to left. And I'm going to start these taper pins with a nail set punch. Because the sight base pins are rounded on the end, it's critical I use the nail set punch to start them because it has a concave end. Then, because of the shape of the nail set punch, I'll switch and use the straight shaft pin punches to finish knocking out the sight base pins. Notice I've put bumpers on these punches to prevent overdriving them and damaging the gun. This is going to require some advanced techniques, and I risk damaging the firearm, so I don't advise trying this at home. As you can see, these base pins are pretty stubborn. I probably hit it 20 or 30 times. Being careful to reset the punch and keep it on top of the pin. I'm just trying to loosen the pin, so I'm listening for a change in the tone when I strike it. There. Now I've loosened that pin. I'm going to immediately stop so I don't overdrive the punch. Now I'll loosen the other pin. Once I've loosened the pins, I'll switch to the straight punch and drive the pins out. Again, being careful not to overdrive the punch. As you can see when you examine the pin, it's slightly smaller on the left side as you look at it here. In order to remove the flash hider and the crush washer, I'll use these padded vice jaws to hold the barrel and an armorer's wrench to turn the flash hider. Note, the crush washer has a slight taper on it which points to the back. The crush washer can only be used once and must be replaced. Next, I'll remove the small gas tube pin. This pin is a roll pin, so I'll use the roll pin punch. As you can see, this is a very small pin, the kind you can generally only drop once, because you never find it to drop it again. I remove the sight base with the plastic hammer. On heavily used guns, it'll probably be necessary to put some penetrating oil on the sight base and the gas tube. And remove the gas tube with a special tool I'll show you later. I'll clean up the gas tube in the barrel, and I'll use some anti-seize grease on the contact surfaces for the new gas block. Here I use the punch to line up the holes and the spring uh, for the gas tube. There are two holes in the gas tube. The large one has to line up with the hole in the bottom of the gas block and the hole in the barrel. If the gas block is properly installed, I only have to press it on tight to get it to line up.
There is a smaller hole in the side of the gas tube for the roll pin. Here I use the gas tube wrench to press the gas tube into place and line up the holes for the pin. I really should get myself some of those nifty roll pin starters so I don't have to use the needle nose to hold these tiny pins. I'll install the gas block according to instructions. This one had a torque spec. A little more anti-seize for the flash hider and a new crush ring, taper to the back, then reinstall the flash hider. Note, the flash hider is missing a port and that side needs to face down when finally installed. I'll torque the flash hider until the solid section is on the bottom side. This may take some effort uh, to compress this new uh, crush washer. Now, final inspection and cleanup, and we're ready to go. I hope you found that educational. I'm Jim Humphrey with Imminent Threat Defense Firearms Training. Until next time, keep training, join the NRA, and be safe out there. Thanks. Thanks.